Epilinone is an aldosterone receptor antagonist used to improve survival of patients with symptomatic heart failure and to reduce blood pressure. In this video, let's find found. What is epilinone? What is epilinone used for? Contraindication. What are the side effects of taking epilinone? How does epilinone work? How to use epilinone? What is epilinone? Epilinone, sold under the brand name Inspira, is an aldosterone antagonist type of potassium sparing diuretic that is used to treat chronic heart failure and high blood pressure, particularly for patients with resistant hypertension due to elevated aldosterone. Epilinone is more selective than spironolactone at the mineralocorticoid receptor relative to binding at androgen, progestogen, glucocorticoid, or estrogen receptors. What is epilinone used for? For improvement of survival of stable patients with left ventricular systolic dysfunction, ejection fraction less than 40%, and clinical evidence of congestive heart failure after an acute myocardial infarction. Contraindication Epilinone is contraindicated for patients known to have type 2 diabetes with microalbuminuria. Serum creatinine over 2.0 mg per deciliter in males and 1.8 mg per deciliter in females or a CRCL below 50 ml per minute concomitant use of potassium supplementation or potassium sparing diuretics. Side effects Common adverse drug reactions, ADRs, associated with the use of epilinone include hyperkalemia, hypotension, dizziness, and reduced renal clearance. Epilinone may have a lower incidence than spironolactone of sexual side effects such as feminization, gynecomastia, impotence, low sex drive and reduction of size of male genitalia. Pharmacodynamic Epilinone, an aldosterone receptor antagonist similar to spironolactone, has been shown to produce sustained increases in plasma renin and serum aldosterone, consistent with inhibition of the negative regulatory feedback of aldosterone on renin secretion. The resulting increased plasma renin activity and aldosterone circulating levels do not overcome the effects of epilinone. Epilinone selectively binds to recombinant human mineralocorticoid receptors relative to its binding to recombinant human glucocorticoid, progesterone, and androgen receptors. Mechanism of action. Epilinone binds to the mineralocorticoid receptor and thereby blocks the binding of aldosterone component of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system, or RAAS. Aldosterone synthesis, which occurs primarily in the adrenal gland, is modulated by multiple factors, including antensin-2 and non-RAAS mediators such as adrenocorticotropic hormone, ACTH, and potassium. Aldosterone binds to mineralocorticoid receptors in both epithelial, e.g., kidney, and non-epithelial, e.g., heart, blood vessels and brain, tissues, and increases blood pressure through induction of sodium reabsorption and possibly other mechanisms. Half-life. 4 to 6 hours. Dose. Hypertension, HTN. Initial 50 mg POQ day, may increase to 50 mg POQ 12 HR, may take up to 4 weeks for full therapeutic response. Hypokalemia may occur with doses greater than 100 mg per day. Heart failure post-MI. Initial 25 mg POQ day may titrate to maximum of 50 mg once daily within 4 weeks as tolerated. Dose adjustments may be required based on potassium levels. Safety advice. Hyperkalemia occurs more frequently in persons with diabetes, particularly when epilinone is given with angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, 38% receiving this combination had hyperkalemia. Epilinone is category B in pregnancy. That's all the information about epilinone we collected. Thanks for listening. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe for the He Info channel if you like this video to update more health information.